everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you a brand new series for our YouTube channel. We are going to be playing through a game called Spirit Fair. Now, before we start this game, I do need to say that I know absolutely zero about this game. Um, the reason I wanted to play it was because someone that I trust with their opinions on video games said that this was the best game they played all year. <laughs> um, they also said it was very impactful and it had a lot of like emotional stuff so i wanted to give it a try um and as some of you may know we're going through some pretty emotional stuff in real life so if i do get a little you know teary-eyed or sniffles going on um just you're gonna have to deal with it <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started i don't really know what to expect i haven't looked up any gameplay of this i haven't even looked up to see uh what the gameplay is about um, but the very little description that I got of it, I was like, yeah, I'll give that a go. So let's go ahead and start a new game of Spirit Fairer. That's cute. Down in the corner. Is that a squirrel? <laughs> cat? It's that cat. Oh boy. Are we on the river sticks? Ah, finally. Do I click it or? How do I move forward? <laughs> oh, okay, enter. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Ka oh, it is the river six. I'm Karan. The spirit fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. Wait, really? And you are? Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests, and be at their service until their last breath. Oh, this is going to be a heavy game. <laughs> I can tell. The big round bridge over there is the Everdoor. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There's no task more important than this one. Stella. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Oop. Oop. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you- <sighs> Oh, how highly inappropriate. <laughs> Daffodil. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Ooh. Cute. Cat's just playing with the ball. <laughs> Ours is on our belt. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, 
but there's no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too, at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit fairers, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. So Charon got his ending. Hi, Karan. To the next life. Hope we got a paddle. Okay. <laughs> what an introduction. All right. Move around WASD or this and jump with space. Oh god, do I I need a wait, can I um options controls. No, I want keyboard. Fly. Okay. Back. So WASD space Change menu, tab left, right, interact, enter, oh, or E, okay. R is confirm and inventory, quests cancel, what? Oh, shift. And boat trajectory and clock, Z, okay. W while climbing to perform to climb through platforms. Oh, right here. Hold the S space to drop. Hi. No items. E. Mm -hmm. Stella. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight. Let me get a look at you. Mm -hmm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> ah, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me. Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit mm -hmm. fairer. You are the one replacing... Caron. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck in this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? Was that my new boat? It's trash. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but... Let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me at the deck over there. Mm -hmm. I'll explain it all. Okay. <laughs> Nothing up here to do? Oops. Ding! Look at all this garbage. Over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Are you, are you an elk? Uh, I mean flashbanged. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, she's pretty. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So. The way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. And as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, 
they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. Personal connection. What do I... Hug. Oh, mood. Give food. Hug. Hmm? <gasps> oh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Yes. Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this. Or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very. Mm -hmm. Meticulously. <laughs> go, open up the cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Tab to review active quests. Let's sail, Captain. Request upgrades shenanigans. Upgrades. Shenanigans. <laughs> okay. Start your boat. Fill this cabin. Cool. Alt Harbor. Albert Shipyard. Set the destination. And we're off. Stella! Mm -hmm. I understand the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Charon, the Everdor, the Spirit Fairs, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow, I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this mm -hmm. ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Wait, what fishing rod? What's this stuff up here? There's a little, like, boat down there. The couch. What fishing rod? There's a crow's nest. And home! going here. Is this my cabin up here? Can't go down there. Oh! Oh! Okay. What do I do? Does it got a bobble? Hold E to reel. Got a fish, a herring. Mm. Must be here. Might as well catch a fish or two while we're out here. Another herring. Okay. Here we are. Mm. Oh, Elbert Shipyard discovered.
Now head down to Elwer's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. <laughs> oh, now I can go use this. Alright, here we go. This is cute so far. Um, can I look at this? Key. Let's hail. Upgrade your blueprint station. Hey! Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spiritfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you'd been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Karen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here? Don't worry. We're still working on it. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Boo. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Do what? Upgrade. Wait, can I... Can I talk to you, though? Oh, um... Oh. I don't have any money. Description. Guest house. Garden. Field. Kitchen. Oh, no. Sawmill. Dune. Foundry. Orchard. Sheep. Corral. Windmill. Chicken coop. La oh, no. Is this a building game? <laughs> Smithy. Cow stall. So oh, this is sick. Then we can get, um... Uh, Big boats. A mailbox. Fishbreaker. Flip a passage on the ice flow. Makes the boat go 20% faster. Time to pulverize rocks. 40% faster. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat! But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! Back to the boat. Okay. Wait. That's all I can do here? Like... Oh, well. Going for a swim. <laughs> Good thing you can't, like, die. <laughs> I guess we're spirit bear. We can't die. Finally! Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned you the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above the cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get re back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Oh, up here. Okay. Edit. And... Edit. Ah. Salvage? Salvage building. Are you sure you want to salvage this building? You'll get back the following resources. Yes. Wonderful. Escape. Okay, got the garbage off of our stuff. Mm. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm. But it'd be sleeping on the deck. 
The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. I build a guest house? Build. Uh, I want a field. Guest house. Yes. I'm gonna put it all the way over here. Place. Sick. I can't build any of these. Okay. Going to see the guest house? Oh cool, it looks Gwen. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait, what's going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry, very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. at it. You might have fif fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, can't really eat an entire raw fish. Could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. And absurd as it sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly, mm -hmm. and there's only one way to get some. I- Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence. And even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen? Well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Thank you when I'm hungry, I do too. All right, let's set sail. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, what's this? Don't know? Crates, seeds, treasures, wood, and ores. This must be it. Jellyfish stage one. We're gonna go. Alright. And I think while we do that, we'll fish. Bye, Albert. Herring? We're gonna build this kitchen and cook her some fish dinners, huh? Another herring? They come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. Mm -hmm. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. What do I need to do? Oh. Some bright jelly. Oh god, I fell off the boat. I still have to leave the boat. It stops. It will restart. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting money from this. 
Wait, come back here. I want that one. Wait. The bright jelly back here coming. Come to me, bright jelly. so bad. I was worried like we'd have to do combat or something, but really we're just like a stressless kind of game. <laughs> Which is good. Man, look at all those. We can just kind of stand here and Okay, give me that glim. Yeah, give me that big one. Got 105. Okay. I think we're good. Fantastic! Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build the proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. Oh, nope. This is not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go. Here. Build. Field, garden, kitchen. And I probably should have put the guest thing on the other side, huh? Oh, we could put... Wait. Build up. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Lovely kitchen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to mm -hmm. be cooked. You could even try those loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. Can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. Got this. Recipes? Oh, we don't know any. Cook. Cook. <gasps> I can smell it! I don't want to do more. Look to fish. Ah. Are we done? No. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Popcorn. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Del. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. Be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. And before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give to you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an O ball is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you already knew that. Okay, let's keep on improvising, improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there's both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things and turn this ship into adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it, but that will come later. 
I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostyn Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's almost done. Lost in Cove. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll go there for a second. She's got another uh, quest for me. But I need to... I need these fish, man. Oh no, they're not done yet. Yeah, are they done? They're not. Just put one. I'm gonna wait for it all the way down. Stella! Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished, unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You wake up refreshed and ready to go, and your ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right mm -hmm. time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Good night. Done. A grilled fish. Okay. What do I need to build a um crap? <laughs> what do I need to build a uh garden plot? Garden field. Wood and limestone. Maple log lightning a bottle. Your veggie seeds, your cereal seeds. Guest house. Question mark. Okay. Fine. Edit. Can I move this? Oh. It's okay. <laughs> Gwen's like, what the heck, man? Okay. Well, I guess we go to sleep too. Wait. In the morning? Yes. This game's so cute, I can't. We can ring the bell, it looks like, any time that it's in this pink. A Z to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. And I'm good with it on, though. Ring! Hey, Gwen. Good morning, Stella. Let's give her a hug. Sorry, I'm okay now. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Mm -hmm. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical mythical challenges mm -hmm. again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Alright. Let's choose a spot to go to. Should we go with this? Go. I'm gonna go get some resources. Stella! Mm -hmm. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds mm -hmm. up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Mm -hmm. I always protected those you found vulnerable. Every pedantic snobs like- even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Mm -hmm. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers and the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm -hmm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was red. Oh. Um, should we go make a fish dinner? Cook. Fish. Cook. 
What's that? Why did the whole thing shake? What's going on here? Hold S and press space to dive. What am I diving for? Okay. Seeds and whatnot. Okay, we got some crates. There was one crate. Something sparkly here, though. Essence space. We got something. Quartz. Whoops. <laughs> What's this? An empty shell. Empty shell. That's all. Okay. Anything else? Ow. Okay. Well, we got there then. Alright, let's go then to... this? More crates. Let's go up here. Mostyn Cove. Set destination. Uh, can we, um, oh god, how's our fish? Is it burnt? Well, well, well. <gasps> Hold on. Two fish dinners. Oh, we have the can. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. What'd you well, well, well me for? You okay. Hug? Aww. Mm. Oh. Mm. Thank you. I'm fine, thank you. How's your mood? Favorite food? Black coffee. Comfort food? Question mark. Dislikes. Oh, they're hungry. Okay, hold on. I can help with that. Get food. Thanks, I love it. Mm. Dislikes, we don't know. Was recently hugged. Has eaten a meal she likes. Optimistic about her new journey. Doing great. Okay. Let me see about the garden. Can't do the field yet. I need maple log and limestone. Got the kitchen. Should we fish? We're almost to the new place. Is herring the only thing we can catch? We made it to the uh, to the island. Is that a boot? <laughs> okay. Look at that. Mustin Cove discovered. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Seeds for the future. Okay. Some empty shells. Hi, Gwen. Did she want to come? <laughs> She's supposed to come with. Medium glim bottle, empty bottle. Oh, okay, Gwen is here. Here we go. 
What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry. They'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I have to actually move it. That is so cute. Well done. Get some berries. Congratulations. You have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Cool. Cut down this one. This is such a cute game. Okay. What's this? Hold E as long as possible to break the mining node. Oops. Okay. Limestone. And that's all she wrote. Alright. But, oh, just because we have our... Okay. Go in. I'm ready. Go back to the big boat. And then we can build our... Yes, okay. We can build our garden. Can't do this yet. Oh, so oh, cute. <laughs> put it up here, but I kind of want to put it just right down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. A field! Mm -hmm. Ha! It's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple, but elegant. Mm -hmm. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother mm -hmm. trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up a shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. <laughs> it's supposed to be like Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. So that I don't want to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingburg then. We just need to find some seeds for that field. Okay. I'll do that. First, um... I found these raspberries? Oh, and a turnip. I eat raspberries all day, every day of my life for cooking. Raspberries are kind of small berries. They can be eaten fresh. Cook it. Does it make like a jam or something? Or what does it do? Bunk, bunk, bunk. Go, go, go. Raspberry cooking. Bum, bum, bum. 
I'm kind of in love with this game. <laughs> I know it's like we're only like 45 minutes deep, but this is such a cool little... It's way different than I thought it was going to be. It's kind of like a gardening, farm management, building, people, people pleasing. Poached fruit. Okay. All right, here's what I think we're going to do now. Oh, can I go in here? Corn, coffee beans. Planted in the field. Field, field, field. Um, we'll do that in a little bit. But I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, end the episode here. And when we come back, we'll continue on um, to this place of ours that she wants to go to. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for um, your support on this series. This seems like a, such a cool and cute little game. Um, I'm really excited to like discover what it has to offer and get into it. Um, I hope you guys are too. So guys, again, thank you so much for your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Spirit Fairer Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye everyone.